Hey, it's Grady at Twin Creek Audio back in the studio today. And today I thought I'd have a little fun with cassette tapes. Yes, cassette tapes. Cassette tapes, as you may have heard, are making a comeback. So here in my studio, I thought it would be fun today to mix a song through the console and onto a cassette. Use a cassette deck and a cassette tape as the master. Of course, I'm also going to make a backup copy to digital printed at the exact same time so we can compare the mix to cassette, which is an analog format, or to digital. And, but that's what you're going to hear, cassette versus digital. And I'm going to mix a song called Burn It Down from my 13 Channels album that was released in 2017. I'll put a link to the original mix of this song in the video description. I'm going to use the Soundcraft Sapphire 44 channel console back here. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail about everything in the mix. You can watch some of the other videos on this channel, but I'll give you some hints. I am doing my Fatronics Reamper Univibe trick again on background vocals on this mix. And I'm using the Yuri LA-10 on bass guitar and a couple of other things that you've probably seen in a lot of my mixing videos. So this isn't going to be that much different from those. So if you like a lot of detail and want to see more about my mixing and things that I do here in the studio, check some of those other mixing videos here on the channel. I'm going to limit this to just mixing the song. Even though it is a full analog mix, it's being played back from the DAW at 48 kilohertz, 24 bit. And then we're going to go through the analog console back here. Then we're going to send the output of the console, the stereo outputs, to the cassette deck. So here's the cassette deck that I'm using today. Uh, this is a working cassette deck. It's a TAC V707RX. This thing's cool. It has DBX and Dolby B, and it even has DBS disc noise reduction for those vinyl discs that were cut back in the 70s that had DBX disc encoded on them. It has the tape selector. And we're going to use this Audio Pro Chrome cassette here. This is unopened. I bought a box of these a few years ago. They were some of the last cassette tapes that I could find easily used. I'm sure new old stock TDK or something is better than this, but this is unopened, so I'm going to use this for this demonstration in this video. Looks okay. I'm just going to repack the tape. I'm repacking the tape because I bought this box of these cassettes probably three or four years ago now, and they've been sitting there unopened. So I'm just going to run the tape to the end and back once just to make sure everything's working properly and loosened up in there before I record onto this cassette. Now we'll back it back up to the beginning and then probably clean the heads again. See, I've got some Q-tips right here. So I can clean the heads on this. And on this one, you have to take this front panel off because it's got a little tilt mechanism. Turn this off for a minute and remove this face plate so that I can get in here and clean the heads again on this machine. Using a Q-tip and as high a percentage of isopropyl alcohol as you can get, usually 90, 92%. So I'm all ready to go. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know kind of what the arrangement, drums, bass, guitars, vocals, all the way down here, just to give you an idea. Now I'm gonna print this mix to cassette and simultaneously back to digital. So our source is a DAW, it's a Reaper in this case, and we're running at 48 kilohertz, 24 bit. 
that's being converted to analog and coming through the Soundcraft Sapphire analog mixing console. So I'm using the console, EQs, and outboard gear, only analog gear is being used other than the playback, which is the computer. And the capture device in this case is gonna be a cassette and also back into the computer. So we can have a comparison, but I've already tried this before a long time ago. set as a mix down machine to the digital counterpart was really kind of eye-opening. I mean, cassettes really sound pretty good. The dynamic range of a cassette tape is not supposed to be as good as digital, but I think with certain noise reduction techniques and by printing the mix hotter, you can kind of overcome that limitation. Today, I did not use any Dolby noise reduction or anything because it was kind of a rock song and I knew I was gonna be printing those levels pretty hot coming out of this console back here. So, you know, with lower levels, I might've needed to turn Dolby on, but my cassette deck only has Dolby B and I didn't really want to use that today. I used a Chrome cassette and just pushed the levels as good as I could do or as much as the cassette and the deck could handle so that we could hear it. 
I think it was pretty cool. I had a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the Twin Creek Audio YouTube channel. Let me know if you want to see more videos with cassette tapes in them, because I do love cassettes. I've got some old master tapes and all different kinds of old cassettes laying around. And um, maybe I can find some other stuff to do as far as cassettes here on the channel. So let me know that in the comments below. If you like this video and subscribe to the Twin Creek Audio YouTube channel, also make sure to check out the links in the video description. Those are all songs, music, projects that I've been a part of or produced or mixed, and they all do go to help support this channel. So make sure to check those out. Also check the link in the description for the original version of the song, Burn It Down, that I mixed to cassette in today's video. Hope that you all have a wonderful and excellent day, night, evening, weekend, weekday, hour, minute, second, nanosecond, whatever it is you're having, have a good one. And thanks so much for watching.